This year's Mapping Melbourne Festival celebrates contemporary Asian culture in Australia through music, dance and performance. The Gu Chang is an instrument intricately linked with ancient Chinese traditions. But one of this year's headline acts has become famous for her modern playing style. Our very own reporter, Ms Georgie Tunney, sat down with the virtuoso Mindy Mingwang. I started to um, play this instrument when I was really young. Actually, it's a funny story that I had a neighbor moved to us, and uh, she was like the best teacher in my whole entire like province, and so one of the best in China. So I was just like, I was like, oh my god, that sounds so beautiful every day, you know, like. And then I told my mom like I want to start. But one of the things that sets you apart from maybe uh, traditional performers is that you are bringing it into a contemporary sphere. You have a big focus on bringing the East, meeting it with the West. Yep. Why is that? You know, what we've been treating this instrument in the past was just kept the traditional part. So it's really limited, but there are so many beautiful different kind of music genres uh, out there and it, I feel like I want to play those music on this instrument. For me, the, all the musical instrument is a tool that in a, you know, let you play the music you want to play. It shouldn't be limited to one, one style, just like the piano, so you would never say you could only just play classic. Working with Mindy Mangwang is definitely um, a very joyful experience. I've worked with her for many years now and seen her work in many different forms. The piece she's doing this year is the second iteration of um, a series of uh, work that she started last year with Cocoon and this year it's um, Metamorphosis. Um, she's just incredible to work with, highly professional, highly creative, extremely supportive, so an absolute treasure. For me, the ultimate goal is just starting cultural conversations. I think that a really amazing way for people to get to know each other, both on a, like a cultural level and an individual level, is, is through the arts. What's the reaction been then from Eastern audiences versus Western audiences? Is it actually that different? I guess, you know, from what my style is quite different. So both of them are shocked so sometimes. <laughs> for a Western uh, audience, they said it. Um, it makes them feel easier to access to some traditional Chinese music. For Chinese audience, they think I'm doing something to keep the roots and tradition, but take it to the future. So I think it's challenging for both sides, but I think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. 